Hello everybody. All right, so I drew this uh, Delectric with the two plates on top and on the bottom. And to be honest, I'm even quite proud how, how well I drew it. Anyway, I am supposed to find D for both of them. So the Electric Displacement for all the regions in our uh, problem. So the first region I'm gonna start of course is the region between the plate and the dielectric. So I know that D is from equals to the integral of D is equals to the charge enclosed, which is equals to Q. Alright, so Q is equals to the surface charge times the area, of course. And then we're gonna have the absolute value of D is equals times the area is equals to the surface charge times the area. And therefore, we cancel out the area on both sides. We put a, um, actually, we say that the x axis is, oh, sorry, not the x axis, the z axis. I want to call it the z axis. That's the one that you should most call it. Okay, z axis is going to be, so the d vector is going to be equals to the uh, our uh, surface charge along the z axis. Now, I will find E for this area. So I know that E is equals to D divided by epsilon, which in our case is equals to a uh, empty space, so epsilon naught, therefore is equals to our surface charge divided by epsilon naught, which makes sense. Now, the next area that I'm gonna start looking at will be the dielectric itself. So again, the integral of our D over an area is equals to the enclosed free enclosed charge. So it's going to be equals to again, uh, obviously, the value of D is equals to uh, our surface charge. But instead, this time the electric field is going to be equals to D over epsilon, not epsilon not anymore because we're inside of the electric. So epsilon will have another, will have a different value. So it's equals to our surface charge divided by epsilon. Now I could find the third area, which is this part over here, but it's another empty empty space. So it's gonna it's gonna be the exact same as this first empty area. So I will avoid calculating again, but you can see that this is pretty clearly the uh, final answer. Uh, okay, so uh, I'll I'll find the polarization. Uh, so if I look at this in the first air in the first space, this empty space right here, there's no polarization, so I can just avoid it. There, it's empty space, so there's no polarization. This here, though, there is polarization, and I know that polarization is equals to epsilon naught times chi times electric field. Therefore, it's equals to epsilon naught times chi times our surface charge over our uh, epsilon. Um, now, of course, I'm pretty sure you can already see I can divide our epsilon by our epsilon naught and get uh, our E, our epsilon relative. So it's equals to um, chi, not y, chi, okay, uh, surface charge times epsilon relative. And that is our polarization for our dielectric. Um, okay. Uh, then I want to find the uh, density of the charges, so rho b, and it's going to be equal to negative the divergence of p, the polarization. But if I look at it, the polarization actually is going to be equal to it's a uh, value that when we found when we use the divergence, going to be equal to zero because we have as much coming in and as much is coming out, so it's equal to zero. Instead the surface charge is equal to P times N. So it's going to be equal to our P, we said, so X uh, chi E times the surface charge times epsilon R times R N vector, which is actually going to be equal simply in the negative X direction. So I'm just going to put a negative in front and X Z direction, of course, sorry, Z, because we're talking about Z. Uh, as you can see, this value over here will be the opposite of the value that is on this part right here. 
all right um okay and of course if we're finding on the other side the band charges at the bottom of the dielectric we're gonna have that it's gonna be equals to the opposite of this so it's gonna be equals to actually uh let me call this upper and this uh be lower it's gonna be equals to a uh, opposite of this or so negative of this so it's gonna be equals to positive so of this so a key chi, chi uh our surface charge times epsilon r in the z direction oops okay in the z direction uh very 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 easily honestly um let's see what else we'll find um okay so i want to find the uh calculate the electrostatic energy all right so w is equals to epsilon naught over 2 the integral of our e squared d tau okay so <clears throat> let's see um let's write epsilon naught over 2 the integral of what is our e uh the electric field well the electric field we said is we're gonna have to take the one the free uh region so it's gonna be equals to um let's see where i can find it we wrote right here right here so duplicate and we write over here and d tau which is actually oh i'm gonna let's write d tau anyway now these two values actually are not dependent on tau so I can just take it out and I can get rid of the epsilon naught and epsilon naught. So I'm going to have our surface charge. Oh, sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. I had to square this value right here. So I'm just going to get is equals to um, our surface charge squared over 2 epsilon naught. And then the volume of this, which is going to be equals to the area times d. Because d was the distance between the upper and lower uh, so, uh, uh, plate and uh, this should be the end okay um, another way I can find it is by doing W is equals to epsilon naught over 2 times the integral of E times uh, D D tau which is equals to set epsilon naught over 2 integral of E, which is surface charge over epsilon naught, and D, which is equals to surface charge, and D tau. So here again, we're just gonna uh, solve this. We're gonna get this equals to our surface charge over uh, 2 times the area and the distance. That's the volume that we're taking into consideration. Um, now these two results are supposed to differ. Differ. Um, the reason why I'm not 100% sure, so please somebody correct me in the comment uh, if this is incorrect, is because this value over here is taking consideration d d, which means that polarization isn't zero in our case, or at least shouldn't be equal to zero. Well, here when we take our electric field, then we're taking we're saying that polarization is equals to zero. So I think that this value here at the bottom, taking consideration the uh, charge inside the um, inside the plate as well. Uh, not hundred percent sure, so please, if anybody can correct me, correct me. And then I'm asked to find by what fraction is the capacity increase for each configuration. Okay, well. Uh, but for by function is the capacity increased? Well, the capacitance is equals to let me see if I can remember this. Uh, capacitance is equals to E R times the capacitance in vacuum. Um, um,
Let me just make sure. Yeah. He says so. Okay. Um so ER he said is equals to epsilon not over epsilon if I am not mistaken. Let's see if I go to somewhere because I knew it before, I don't know it now. Um uh, no, I don't think I've done anywhere before, so let me try and find that in the book. I have the yes, epsilon not epsilon over epsilon not. Okay, perfect. Uh, I was getting it wrong. So epsilon over epsilon not. So the capacitance increases by a value equals to epsilon over epsilon not or er. That's pretty much it. And uh, um, so we can find it. Let's see, where is it? Uh, I want to use something specific. But I'm afraid it will just go back to what I had beginning yeah no okay so the capacitor just increased by a value equals to this um uh, the, the, the capacitor is increased by value equals to this yes sorry um <clears throat> so it is uh that that is the answer um now actually i'm gonna make another video for another configuration which this lab only covers half the plate <laughs>